Dear colleagues, in this video, I am going to demonstrate classical submarine job. A submarine moves under water. Here, the FECO tip moves through the substance of the nucleus. Let us watch this beautiful surgery. By this time, main incision and one side port has been made and this is the second side port on the left side of the main incision. Now, an air bubble is injected in the anterior chamber. Now, tripan blue dye is being used to stain the anterior capsule just to show Rex is clearly I am using this dye. Otherwise, in this immature cataracts, we can very well complete Rex without using tripan blue dye. Now, the anterior chamber is filled up with viscoelastic substance. I am using HPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, capsulorexis is to be done. I incise the anterior capsule with this bent needle, 26 case needle, and raise this capsular tag. I hold this capsular tag with the iterator forceps, go anticlockwise and see. I am trying to remain at equal distance all around from the margin of the people, and thus, I am able to achieve almost a round rexis and it is comparable to a femtorexis. So, if we develop our skill, we don't need a femtolaser. And now, hydrodissection has been done and nucleus has been mobilized. This plastic substance is again injected now is the time to enter into the eye with the FECO handpiece and see the submarine choke. The tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision. It goes through the substance of the nucleus. See how beautifully it moves, just like a submarine moves under water. And as it crosses the center, the chopper is used to chop the nucleus. And each hemineucleus is then emulsified in the same manner. The FECO tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus. This is the other hemineucleus. See how it is done. The nucleus, first I am trying to separate the two, yes. So, two hemineuclei are separate and this hemineucleus is being divided. And now, once these fragments are made, it is very easy to emulsify and remove these nuclear fragments. So, this submarine chop is a kind of horizontal chop where you bury the FECO teeth in the substance of the nucleus and with full energy, you go to the towards the opposite equator. Just after crossing the center of the nucleus, you take help of your chopper to divide the nucleus into two halves. This is the last portion of the nucleus. I have I usually remove my chopper so that the anterior chamber becomes deep and the posterior capsule goes towards the vitreous and it becomes very safe to emulsify the last fragments. That's it. The nucleus has been managed. And now, viscoelastic substance is again injected and this cortex, whatever lens matter is there, is clean. So, I hope you will try a submarine job. Please try this when the nucleus is of moderate to grade 4 nucleus sclerosis. If it is harder than that, it is better to do crater and chop technique. Please see my hard cataracts where I usually make a crater and then divide the nucleus into several parts. But when the nucleus is not that hard. No, it's up to grade 4, grade 3 or grade 4. This submarine job 
works very well. The cortical cleanup in this case has been done by this Simco cannula. This can be cleaned by a uh, bimanual irrigation aspiration also. So after cortical cleanup in this case we have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and the lens is being implanted under irrigation. In this case the pupil is mid dilated and though not fully dilated it is dilated about 6 millimeter and we have been able to do this surgery very well without any problem. Now I am going to see if the lens has gone in the capsular bag. Yes, I am retracting the iris and making sure that the haptics have gone in the capsular bag. And since this lens has been implanted under irrigation, there is no viscoelastic substance and we have saved the time that we have to spend for cleaning of the viscoelastic substance. Now the side ports are hydrated so that these wounds become waterproof, watertight and a final wash is made. I usually increase the magnification at this time to see if the antechamber is clear of any particle. There are reports in the literature that even metallic particles can be there in the antechamber with the iris. That's it. The case is done. Hope this video will encourage you to try submarine chop. Thank you very much for your attention.